With foods rich in blends of ingredients and spices, olives and dates, saffron and cinnamon, and of course, tagine, the country has a taste to be tried. We're in Marrakech, and if you're wanting to become more familiar with the Moroccan dining experience, this is how you do it. We're gonna go out in the market, buy some fresh food, come back here, and learn how to cook it. The markets of Marrakech, located in the Old City, are fast, vibrant, and the best way for us to get fresh ingredients. Traditional Moroccan cuisine is heavy in spices, which is one thing that separates it from Middle Eastern food. Traditional spices used are paprika, saffron, cinnamon, cumin, salt, and pepper. For the meal we're making, we're going to use seasonal vegetables available here, such as carrots, onions, zucchini, and tomatoes. Side by side are the butcher stalls. Meats commonly used are beef, chicken, and lamb, but you can also find pigeon and rabbit on menus. All the ingredients we'll be using are super fresh. Some are extremely fresh. Now we're at Riyadh Kaniza, we're gonna learn how to cook this food. Back in the kitchen, we put everything together, creating our traditional Moroccan cuisine. Here are a few things to consider when looking to book a class. How big is the class? What level is the class? Can you choose the dish prepared? Also, keep in mind that sometimes the classes run long. The final step is to sit back and enjoy the food we cooked. Now, anyone traveling through Morocco will eat a few tagine meals. What sets this apart, though, is that by the end of the cooking, we've not only made a chicken and lamb tagine, but also traditional sides that many travelers don't get at the average tagine restaurant. I'm too thirsty to drink water, you ask what am I thirsty for?